told you guys, I told you. Y'all want to know what I'm talking about? I told you. Social media is going to get you guys in trouble, as it always do. As it always do. But who knew a tweet from January was going to catch up to this young lady right here? Yo, welcome back to the Lockout Men podcast show. Thank you very much. I really do appreciate you guys tuning in and checking it out. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. This video, this podcast is about drunk driving at its best. This young lady, Tanae J, her real name is Janae Tanae Webb, a young lady out of PA, I'm assuming, because this is where the accident happened. But she's 21 years old and is charged with multiple, multiple accounts. She's charged with three counts of vehicular homicide, charged with murder, and she is charged with something else. I can't remember off the top of my head, but she was involved in a drunk driving situation that killed two state troopers and injured the pedestrian that they was helping. But here's the caveat to the story, y'all, before I go to the news clip and let them tell you. She was stopped earlier by a state trooper for speeding. State trooper says in a tweet that she has deleted, don't understand why she didn't delete the other tweet, but she deleted a tweet that said, why did I get pulled over by a cop that said I was doing uh, 110 in a 50? 110 in a 50. Now, that opens up a whole new conversation to the fact that why she didn't get arrested, I guess. In that particular story, it says that the cop was called away for another emergency, and I guess he just didn't smell the alcohol or whatever the case but still she got away with not you know unfazed because she went back and tweeted it which you shouldn't have tweeted it i'm just saying just saying but she tweeted it saying how come i got pulled over by a cop because you was doing 110 in the 50 that's why that's why come on now come on now let's let's be smarter than that just be smarter than that. You you know why. <laughs> but you're going to come on tweet Twitter and tweet that. A lot of stuff just don't need to be put on social media, y'all. It really don't. And the fact that she is now the, now the I'm the best drunk driver ever, quote, yeah, that part. But after the cop left, she got back on the highway. And then the unthinkable happened. The reporter Kelly Rule outside of a police station uh, as we did learn that a woman has been arrested for driving under the influence and uh, killing two state troopers and a civilian out there. Uh, here is a closer look in the nuts and bolts of what we know this morning. Photo of 21 year old Jayana Tane Webb charged with multiple felony counts of murder in the third degree, homicide by motor vehicle while under the influence, and manslaughter in the deaths of Pennsylvania State Troopers Martin Mack, Brandon Siska, and a pedestrian. The crash happened Monday around 1 o'clock in the morning on I 95 South near the stadiums. Jayana, did you drink that night? Earlier today, Webb. Now let me stop it right there. I try my best my due diligence for you guys i i went up and down and scrounger and everything i even pulled out some cash to find this video because there is a video there has to be video there has to be video somebody on the highway that got like a dash cam that seen the accident they said that the 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 recording is a clear recording from the from the uh, stadium that's in the area. I cannot find it. They didn't even put the dash cam video. I can't find it. So if anybody, 
anybody out there that got the video to this situation that happened, please send it in to the Lockout Men podcast show. You can go ahead and text it to one six six zero zero two zero nine zero. Make sure you text the link to me, and I can go ahead and update this story for you guys was escorted out of Troop K, wearing the handcuffs of the troopers she allegedly hit and killed while under the influence, with a blood alcohol level twice the legal limit. Not looking good for you, sweetheart. Not looking good at all. Yeah. And this is a good looking female too, man. Let me show you guys right quick. That's on I-95 South near the stadiums. Janet, did you drink that night? Earlier today, Webb was escorted out of Troop K, wearing the handcuffs of the troopers she allegedly hit and killed while under the influence, with a blood alcohol level twice the legal limit, according to sources. How much had you had to drink that night? A Twitter page with the handle Tanae underscore J includes a post from January that reads, quote, if you ask me, I'm the best drunk driver ever. Sources confirm investigators are looking into her social media. Social media accounts also include posts promoting her small hairstyling business and appear to highlight her past as a Norristown High School graduate and competitive track and field athlete. Did you see those troopers? Flowers placed at the barracks in honor of the fallen troopers. Fraternal Order of Police Lodge Number no. 5 shared links to GoFundMe pages for both families. Each has raised tens of thousands of dollars already. The lesson here, bae. Hey, your lesson here, bae. The lesson here is. You come at the king. Don't drink and drive. And the hell with social media, man. You best not miss. Hey, your lesson here, bae. You put it up on, you. I mean, you put it up on Twitter. And now, a couple of months later, it comes back to bite you. But she's been going on and on on her Twitter about drinking and driving and drinking. She needs to get drunk. Nobody don't need to mess with the drunk her. Um, why the why the liquor stores close at 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 so early? You know. And this is an 18 to 21 year old female. Now I understand the legal limit is 21, but God damn it, man. You had, you, you had like a little business going on. I mean, you, you a cute little young lady, man. Why mess your life up like that? Well, I mean, it's already messed up, but you, you about to do some time. 21. Imagine being, tw no, I, I can't, but. Imagine being 21 and you got to and you and you going to prison for at least a quarter. If if not for two. Or maybe the judge might be some kind of way and 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 put you in there for life. At 21. That's hard to imagine, right? 21 year old and a female at that and a cute female at that I'm just saying you know because once you get hemmed up in prison i mean i i don't know how prison is now but prison back in the day <laughs> i don't know I, I guess i watch too many prison movies <laughs> Let me stop. You should always, and this is another lesson, you should always be careful of the stuff that you put on social media. Before I get on up out of here, let's let's talk about the two officers that lost their lives in the in this tragic situation. Um they set up a GoFundMe. 
like your officers shouldn't you already have life insurance that should take care of all of that i'm i'm assuming that they should have life insurance right that should cover you know the burial and uh and everything right i don't know but then again this this could be for the family i guess you know i'm just i'm just thinking out loud y'all don't come after me um and for the for the state trooper that pulled her over prior to the accident bruh what what you was thinking i mean they when she got arrested she was like like twice over the legal limit you couldn't tell that she was drunk you couldn't tell that in her speak you i mean maybe you couldn't smell her being drunk but you know for speeding at 110 usually usually the officers would take you out of the car and do a sobriety test that wasn't even done so again i asked if the first officer did his due diligence, then would the two, these two officers, would they be alive today? I don't know. Let's get the conversation started. Yo, thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. You guys take it easy. If you guys have, if, if first thing first, I'm still looking for the video. So if you guys find the video, please text me the link, 216-600-2090. Thank you very much. I really do appreciate it. Or you just want to come on and chop it up with me because the best conversations starts here on the Lockout Man podcast show. I'm just saying. If you guys want to do that, let me know, 216-600-2090. Get at me and we'll get it in. I really do appreciate you guys watching. And, yo, stay tuned for the next video. Peace.